random Catholic thoughts, list videos, and more for Bored Lady. If you see roses, you might think St. Therese of Lisieux. If you see a seashell, St. James might come to mind. Eyeballs on a plate, St. Lucy. A unicorn, and who else comes to mind but St. Don't worry if you don't know, because we are about to tell you in this video of Eight Unusual But Wonderful Symbols of Saints. Really quick reminder here, our spin-off channel, RCT Geek, has officially been launched. Link in the description box. Saint Livorius of Le Mans. Symbol, a peacock. The patron of Paderborn, Germany, Laborius is most often associated with three stones and is invoked as a patron of those afflicted with gallstones. We only have limited knowledge of his life. That limited knowledge states he was a bishop of Le Mans in France. His body was sent to Paderborn, Germany in the 800s. This is where the peacock part comes in. Supposedly, the pallbearers were guided through town by a peacock. You know, a peacock, a bird species native to Asia. It will come as no surprise when we say this is just a legend. St. Hugh of Lincoln, symbol, a swan. You'd think a swan would be the symbol of several saints, but as far as we can tell, only this holy Carthusian abbot turned holy bishop of Lincoln, England, has it. Canonized in 1220 by Pope Honorius III, he is a patron for the sick, shoemakers, and swans. Supposedly, a swan named Stowe was a constant companion and pet for the saint, even guarding him in his sleep. And people say a dog is man's best friend. Saint Swithin. Symbols? A bridge and eggs. Saint Swithin was a holy bishop in Winchester, England in the later half of the 800s, and not much more information beyond that can we claim has a high probability of being true. Supposedly, he got this bridge built in Winchester, so depictions of him often contain a bridge. One story tells of a woman crossing said bridge, and when a group of workmen passed by, the woman accidentally shattered some of the eggs she was carrying. Swithin found out, then prayed, and those broken eggs were miraculously restored as if nothing had ever happened. St. Martin of Tours, symbol, a goose. Martin of Tours is most famously remembered for supposedly once cutting his cloak and giving half to a beggar, and later receiving a vision of Jesus himself, saying that Martin has shared his cloak with him. After his days as a soldier, St. Martin became a monastery founder and the bishop of Tours in France. The goose symbolism occurs because according to legend, one day, Martin was out riding, and a goose pooped right on his bishop's vestments. Martin made the sign of the cross at the goose, and the animal disappeared in an explosion of feathers. Hmm. Okay, sorry about that. We had to tell the writer of this script that if they pull a stunt like that again, they will be the ones disappearing in an explosion of feathers. Anyway, the goose symbolism actually originates with the story that Martin was so reluctant to become bishop and give up his much-loved monk lifestyle that he hid in a barn filled with geese. The startled geese, however, gave away his position. St. Justina of Padua. Symbol? A unicorn. There is a distinctive lack of verifiable historical evidence about this saint. But tradition says that Justina was a holy virgin and martyr. A primary symbol of hers is the palm branch. However, as this painting shows, the unicorn is associated with Justina because back in the day, the unicorn was considered to be a symbol of purity and chastity. Saint Bartholomew, symbol, skin. This apostle of Christ, also called Nathaniel, was martyred in a fashion that you might see in a horror movie. Tradition says his skin was flayed from his body while some depictions of the saint can be given a more PG rating, with just a knife in hand, other artists have been a bit more graphic and have him holding his own epidermis. Saint Corbinian, symbol, a saddled bear. Corbinian was appointed to be a bishop in Bavaria by Pope Gregory II, most likely around 724 AD. It was during this time as bishop that the bear story comes about. Corbinian was making his way to Rome. A bear killed his pack horse. Corbinian then commanded the bear to carry his gear the rest of the way, which it did, if the story is true. There's a lot of symbolism in the story itself. The bear represents man, wild and full of sin, being tamed by God through his grace. The pack represents the burden of clerical authority. The saddled bear symbolism can still be seen today, including on the coat of arms of the Pope Emeritus Benedict XVI. And here's the winner of last video's question scenario. Sophie the cartoonist, congratulations. If you were canonized a saint, what would your symbol be, or in what manner would you be portrayed? And here's the obligatory request to like, share, and subscribe.
Thank you very much.